Hi everyone, Kristen Bell here, and I'm doing my presentation on Ada Lovelace, who was basically the first, considered the first computer programmer. So it kind of borders on math and computer science, but computer science didn't exist when she lived, so she was considered a mathematician. And this is a um, the only known photograph of her on this page. She was born December 10th of 1815 in London, England, and she was the daughter of the famous poet Lord Byron, and Annabella Milbank was her mother. She was an upper-class woman, and Byron writes that Ada was the child of love, though born in bitterness and nurtured in convulsion. You'll see what I mean when um, we take a further look at Ada, um, her mother basically hated Byron's wildness and his flamboyant artsy crazed passions. And this influenced her to educate Ada about math and science in a time when women were really not taught these subjects very often. Here's a little painting of Ada when she was a child. And here's another painting of her. Um, so Lord Byron was accused of adultery. It might have been actually incest with a half-sister or something. And he separated from his wife and daughter and left England in April of 1816. Then he died in April 1824 from the flu while he was in Greece, and he had never returned, and he was only 36. So Ada never knew her father. As a child, she was creative and received an education in line with how girls of her class were educated at the time, with governesses, then her mother, and then with tutors except that her mother wanted her to be a mathematical prodigy to counter the life of Lord Byron, so she was encouraged in the study of mathematics, which was kind of unusual for the time. She had a, had a rather lonely childhood. She was kept company by her cat, Mrs. Puff, and animals were a big part of her life. She soared in her imagination and worked on a flying machine at the age of 12, so she was pretty precocious, and she liked studying math, even though her mom sort of forced her to. She was presented at court in May of 1833, and in June of 1833, she met Charles Babbage at a party. He was 42, a mathematician, and thought of as a premier mind of the 19th century and he was interested in calculating machines. We'll see more of Charles Babbage later, but basically she keeps in touch with him from then on through correspondence with letters and things like that. In 1834, she becomes friends with Mrs. Mary Somerville, who was a prominent scientist of her time, and she helped Ada with her math and uh, become, became sort of like a family member. And that's a picture of... Mrs. Mary Somerville. Um, so Ada frequently went to Babbage's Sunday night soirees, and she traveled around the country exploring the industrial sector by looking at um, like mills and factories and things like that, because she was kind of fascinated by scientific discoveries and industry. Um, in the spring of 1835 at 19, Ada met her future husband, William, Lord King, and he was 30 at the time, and they were married just a few months later in July of 1835 at Fort Hook. And then, quickly enough, um, Ada becomes pregnant. From 1836 to 1839, she has three children. In May of 1836, she has Byron. In September of 1837, she has Anna Isabella. And in July of 1839, she has Ralph Gordon. So even though she had just had a baby like four months previous, in 1839, uh, later of that year, she asked Babbage to recommend a mathematics tutor so she can continue her studies. She is just 24, and she's busy with um, the household and managing all that, but she wants to continue her studies. So Babbage recommends this guy called Augustus de Morgan. He's a professor at the University of London and considered one of the great logicians of his time. And he was a close friend of Babbage. Here's a picture that somebody drew, one of his students drew of him being in class. <laughs> and here we have our friend Babbage. Um, 
It's not clear exactly when Ada quit studying with De Morgan, but in 1841, the correspondence with him ends. And Ada um, gets sick in 1841, and she has been battling illnesses kind of throughout her life, but um, she does go on to continue working with Babbage. Um, and that brings us to the analytical engine. Um, basically, Babbage thought up the analytical engine. It's kind of like the proto-computer. And his notes are copious and scattered. And he needs funding, but he can't get it because his, basically his work is all over the place. So Ada um, translates um, Menabrea's description of Babbage's analytical engine, and she adds to it substantially. And here I have, I don't know if you can make it out, <clears throat> it's a diagram for the computation of the Bernoulli numbers, and it's basically an idea of how to write a program, um, how to process the mathematical information in order to get it to work in Babbage's machine. And this is basically what she's known for. Um, because she added extensive documentation, corrected some of Babbage's equations, and made or were, are considered to be the first computer programs to run Babbage's analytical engine. So that table is how to process the Bernoulli numbers. Um, so she is heralded as the first computer programmer, but even today she is controversial. Some people think she didn't really do much and is overhyped. Others contend the documents of her contribution have simply not been organized, and it has led to questions of her math abilities, like that her some of the correspondence where she's just learning concepts are mixed up and out of order so people think she doesn't know what she's doing, basically. Um, and also many people uh, today have taken Ada out of context of the out of the context of the 19th century in order to defame her. Plus, she didn't do as much as she wanted to. She was very ambitious, but she was required to live the life of a mother and a wife in upper class England. She was encouraged in math, but there were very few opportunities for her. So she was kind of a prisoner to her time and her sex um, and couldn't really make much of her um, her abilities and talents. So um, also I wanted to mention that C. Hollings et al. provide some support for Ada in their article, The Lovelace de Morgan Mathematical Correspondence, a Critical Reappraisal. So they provide documentation that sort of defends her legacy. <laughs> um, so basically, after Ada worked with Babbage um, providing all the documentation for his analytical machine, she became ill in 1844, and even though she continued to explore math and science, and she wrote, she was very ill and died, died of uterine cancer in 1852 at the age of 36. Um, she did ha come up with other ideas for different things, but unfortunately she couldn't see anything to fruition because she died. And here are my sources, and I'll make this available as an image or PDF or something. Um, anyway, thanks for listening. Okay, bye.